Welcome to another video guys. Leaving last night's camp spot on the Lemia Beach. We are in on the York Peninsula in Innes Park, Innes National Park. And we're about to head further west. Going to we want to look at a little place called Chinaman's Hat, which is a little island. Come in, Mr. Jazz Jazz. Come in, Mr. Jazz. <laughs> Copy. It's a bit bumpy, I hope all the uh, cupboards are locked. Who loves talking on the CB radio? How do you rate these views, babe? 10 out of 10? 12 out of 10. 12 out of 10. 12 out of 10. Look at that blue water. Yeah, incredible. Like there's rock pools down there too. Does a bit. It's like one big rock pool. Wow. As good as it gets, you reckon? No, but it's pretty good. It is amazing. Look at that little, little cove. It feels quite secluded too. It does. Yeah. It's gonna be Seth. <laughs> when we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are done. All the good times just begun. Let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy But things are finally right With you and I The future is bright oh, You and I, we got it So we've found the next camp spot for tonight. We're at Ethel Rex Lookout. And we've just all had showers back at Marion Bay in the van and then we filled the water tank back up. So we feel really nice and fresh. And this is our epic spot for the next night. Second night of being in Innes National Park. Absolutely wonderful. Yeah, we've had a nice day, pretty chilled, and absolutely wonderful sunset, to be honest. And it's not windy up here, which is a really big plus, because that is, gets a little bit annoying when there's a really cold wind on the edge of a cliff. We're probably gonna walk over there for sunset, which will be any time now, and I might put the drone up too. It's still there. You can see the islands in the background. So we decided to do something fun tonight and set up the projector. We've only set it up about three or four times, I think. And tonight I'm excited because I've got enough distance from the projector to have the whole size of the van. So I ran an extension lead. You probably won't be able to see very well in the dark here, but there's an extension lead there running over to the projector. and. 
yeah we've got mirroring my laptop so after after dinner we're going to be watching a movie by the ocean pretty cool <laughs> Lowey Bay over there. <laughs> this is West Cape. West Cape lighthouse in the background there. Wedge Island over there. And that's where we stayed last night over at that point just there. Ethel Wreck. So we're gonna go over there soon on the Lowey Bay. Gummy shark. Ooh, I don't, don't really want to get too close. Over here, if you can, like on this side, my side. Okay. Nice. Just pulling into Browns Beach. It's like a nice lookout car park here. I think we'll be staying here tonight. Another beautiful lookout. Amy's in the distance going down to the beach. Just down there. And we're just about to go down to the beach and have a look and go for a fish. I wish I had my cardboard. <laughs> wow, look at him go.
It's a baby wrasse. It's too small. It's undersized. Got something here. Oh. This thing on the fucking snow. Little brim. Ah. What, what have I got? Looks like a brim. Oh, that's decent. Nice. All right, guys, so this is dinner. Just size 31 centimeter brim. And yeah, we'll be cooking her with that other wrasse that I caught two or three days ago. Better get up the top to watch this epic sunset with the island, uh, the sun setting just next to Wedge Island there. Laurie's uh, amazing just like preparation. Like, got the brim, got the wrasse and the veggies. Going on in the weather for the night. Morning everybody. Yeah, oh, yeah, that's steps. Wild. Wow. Um, yeah, we just rocked up at Shell Beach. Gonna check out these rock pools today. Um, it's low low tide right now, so I'm hoping I think it's the best time to go. So this is Shell Beach. And the rock pools are supposed to be over there. Yeah. This is sort of like a rock pool that's still semi-open to the ocean. I think maybe there's some more a bit further over. There's like 10 starfishes that we found already. Really? Yeah, this is just one of them. Oh, wow, that's really cool. Can you see the shrimp coming up to my hand underneath? Where? I don't know. You look at this foot. Oh wow, you've got bloody shrimp yeah. on your toes. Here, let me put this in the water.
So I thought over there might be it, but then I got over here and that's got to be, that's definitely it. It's actually pretty deep. We just had a swim in the rock pools. Probably the best rock pools I've ever seen in my life so far. Pretty deep as well. So you can actually jump off, like you could probably jump off where I'm, from where I'm on, from here, and not get hurt. The girls are um, getting really hungry, so they've gone back to eat some food. And I just wanted to hang out a little bit longer. Looks incredible from the drone. After having an amazing experience in Shell Beach Rock Pool, we filled our bellies and headed north, leaving Innes National Park to the next destination, Daly Head. going now yeah I don't know what's next then I'll have to look at the map yeah is it like white hut or point turden possibly I'm not actually too sure I'm not too sure what do you reckon babe beautiful yeah crystal clear pretty good Camp spot, people camping over there. Classic Aussie flag, sailing in the wind. We've decided to have a night off cooking and just chill. We've made it to Point Turton and we're gonna have dinner here, a couple of beers, um, and fill up the water and have showers and stuff. He's going yeah. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning guys, we are still in uh, Point Turton, but I thought we'd explore this little swimming spot here. There's like a little swimming rail that goes actually in the ocean walk out there it's quite nice quite shallow blue water thought i'd have a little snorkel around it might be a little bit cold but um wanted to see what it's like on google maps it's called swimming center so i don't know why it's called that but it's obviously locals come down and swim around here that water's not too bad there all these little bait fish running around in the holes. There's tons of them, look. They're all kind of trapped in the little pools. <laughs> they got nowhere to go. It's 
two guys, two people uh, snorkeling out there. They've got wetsuits on. It's not too bad. Looks nice, doesn't it? Oh, that's actually pretty nice. Temperature. Look at this. Just a random bloody pool entrance, but the pool is the ocean. Look how clear the water is. Might as well be a swimming pool. Oh, let's get in. Oh. This is Magazine Bay Cave. Absolutely, the water around all this area is just so clear. getting things prepared. What are you cooking tonight? Pasta salad, nice pasta, and easy. Pasta salad, okay. Mm. We are in, what's the name of this town again? Port Rickaby. Port Rickaby. Bloody, the horizon ocean sunset, it's gonna be amazing. Very calm water out there. quite remarkable. I will put the drone up for sunset I think because it's going to be very nice. I was contemplating going further up um, back up near the campground to have a fish off the jetty but I don't think I can be bothered today. Just, everyone's <laughs> it's it's been like 30 degrees today and everyone's like pretty tired from the heat. So we're just chilling tonight gonna have some dinner and yeah relax. Oh yeah, and this is going to be the campground for tonight, this car park. Yes, that's the life of a free camper.
we just went to the very end, babe. No worries. It's sort of a beach camp still. It's nice here. Yeah, no, you can't. Walter Malone. Walter Malone. We've just pulled up to Waralti Beach. Um, really nice here. We're not going to stay the night, but we might hang out for a couple of hours here. Probably the nicest beach along this kind of like last few days that we've seen since leaving Point Turton, probably. Yeah, wrap. Well, wraps. Taco wraps. Taco wraps, soft tacos. Yeah. All right, I'm going for a swim. Have fun. Got a bit of chargill grilled cauliflower. Apparently heating up. Oh, heating it's up. going off. I thought that was a gas stove going. Did she just go into the water? Uh, yeah, I think she did. Yeah. Yeah. They look similar to the ones we get, but the tentacles were red. I was like, oh. Mm. All right. Red's Aggressive. Never good, yeah, red's never a good colour. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but tentacles. Yeah, basically. Yeah. Slowly. Yeah. <laughs> 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 <Didn't> smile. <laughs> You're a bit tipsy there, Jan. Oh, no, it's just very. uh. Very tight. It's tight. All right, guys. So a little bit's happened. Uh, we've decided to stay here, and we've met a couple of people that we ran into yesterday, and also a new person. We've got a big van crew going on here. Um, we went on a beer run. That's another thing that happened. And a backpack has gotten stuck in this 4B, and we're gonna dig him out. Oh, we just... <laughs> How come you didn't bring him out yesterday? Got no wrap then, like, or the day before? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you would have got a bottle of red. I know. We'll see if we can get those first. And then, okay. Yeah. Alright. Well, we'll Bit bogged. Oh, I couldn't believe it. You have. You would have got a bottle of red. I know. What else do you guys need? Bit bogged. Bit bogged. You can, especially with four drives, then. Okay. If one wheel grips the other, will start to. Yeah. If you got two wheel drives, there's no point putting them back. <laughs> good, <laughs> good, good to know. Put them both at the back. <laughs> good to know. <laughs> you like the front wheel drive only, and you like chucking them under <laughs> the back. So. <laughs> Just go. Yeah, go, go, go. Yeah, go. Go, 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 go. Yay, the tracks work. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> 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 Oh, oh no! Yeah, no, 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 no. Yeah. Get the oh, I got him! What's the telephoto like on that thing? Oh, yeah. <laughs> what about the drone? Oh, the drone. Uh, <laughs> a lot of effort. That's what that's for. It's actually really hard to find animals on a drone. Uh, yeah. So hard! Dolphins yeah. like freaking, like you're like going out towards them and you're like, hey, okay, must be close. You just oh, miss so them by thank like you. this much. No, me. it's not just me. No, it's not just me. No need to say. Take my 
<laughs> How are you not really dizzy? Start there. <laughs> uh, we're uh, we're just at Riley Beach, north of Wallaroo town. So we're basically technically outside of the York Peninsula now, aren't we? Yeah, we're technically on the Copper Coast at the moment. Yeah. So we're on our way to Air. The next uh, episode will be in Air. So guys, we're probably going to end this episode here. We really hope you enjoyed it. We bloody had a ball. It yeah. was absolutely amazing, wasn't it? Yeah, good times, good friends, mm. good beaches. Just everything was so good. Mm. Um, yeah, so thanks for watching, guys. Subscribe, like, um, follow our Instagram if you don't already. We'll put that up here on the screen. And Happy yeah, Easter. Happy Easter, guys. We'll see you in the next one. Bye. I made an old man. Story. He took out a notepad and wrote something for me. Then he kept walking on down the road, and I watched him disappear. Like smoke, and I thought I'd just seen a ghost.